is a deadly dugite snake and this is a big fat one it's an unusual color guys very unusual color shit look at the size of it beautiful look at that guys look at the color I've never seen one like that color before far out that is scary there's no way I'm picking that up guys it's probably about six foot long Goes under that there. Well, you guys, as you just saw that dugite snake, they just sit on this bitumen that's nice and warm, and they just sit out here and get warm up, and that's why they get run over by cars. As you can see, they're sitting in the middle of the road, and as I say in previous videos, people del did deliberately kill them by running them over. And like I rescued that carpet snake, they think that they're deadly snakes when they're not, they're harmless, they're carpet snakes. And also, as I say, guys, everything's put on this earth for a reason. Those snakes, they kill, you know, they control the environment. So everything's here for a reason, guys. You take one animal away and then the next animal disappears and so forth. And as I say, guys, we've lost that many species of animals. You know, you might see beautiful species of animals what I try and film and photograph and so forth but you know prior to European settlement in this area 120 years ago or whatever just in my area you know this place was just full of trees as you can see those paddocks there's a patch of bush there so you can just imagine guys all of this paddock here forever and ever if you look from the satellite map used to be all bush as far as See this patch of soil here guys, how it's all surrounded by leaves and so forth. And you can just see the patch of soil, there's no leaves there. Have a guess what does that? This piece of bark. Just that piece of bark guys, it's just hanging there by a thread. And you can see the wind blows it. It'll be around circles, like that. And it just cleans it like a little broom. So if you're out bush guys and you see vacant or you know spaces on the ground like this it's usually caused from bark or tree branches or um, trees with leaves on them and sometimes they make really nice little holes. What do you reckon guys? Should we lift up this tin and see what's under there? Could be a snake. Probably mice. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh yeah, look at that guys. Scorpion. Scorpion. These are really big bull ants, guys. He's really, really hurt. You get bitten by those.
Just here guys is a little racehorse going. Funny going feeling up. it's been run over. It's not moving. Usually, as soon as they see you or you step out the car, they'll take off it's as quickly as they can. I reckon it's been injured. Yep. Oh, there it goes. It's just playing dead. Well, look at the size of this, guys. This is a very mature carpet snake. It is massive, guys. I reckon it's probably close to 10 foot long. Far out, guys. That's huge. You can just see the size of it compared to my Land Cruiser, guys. It's nearly as long as my Land Cruiser. So that's a carpet python, guys. A very mature one. Just sun baking on the road. Alright guys, I'm going to just move in this bush a bit because a lot of wheat trucks are going around this area. It's not very happy. 